Look, credit cards can be your best friend or they can be your worst enemy. It all comes down to how you use your credit cards. If you're using your credit cards right, then you should be able to rack up rewards. You should be able to buy stuff with zero interest for at least 12 to 18 months and you get flight mileage. There's all kinds of perks you can get from concierge services to insurance on rental cars. They are a great tool for anyone looking to increase their credit score or to buy some big ticket items. The problem is that people don't understand all the things with credit cards, such as an APR, or understanding when you should make your payments, or not paying the minimum because you're going to carry a balance month to month, and once you get hit with interest, it's going to make it very difficult to pay off those credit cards. So today I want to talk about five rules for credit card usage. The first rule when it comes to using your credit card is that you need to pay it off regularly. And even if you're not paying the whole credit card off, you need to at least make your payments on time. Because if you don't make your payments on time, you're going to get smacked with a really high interest rate. And that just means that $1,000 TV you bought is going to cost you $100 more, $200 more, $300 more, the longer you carry that balance month to month. So the first key point is to make sure that you can either pay the whole card off every month or make at least some sort of payment that is above the minimum. Online payments makes it really, really easy to make your payments automatically. I would say you could put it on the bare minimum and if you know you're going to have enough, then you can raise the payment a bit above the minimum. But just set it automatically, have it paying off your bills each month. I actually do not have mine set on automatic. The reason I don't is because I like going in there to view each month what I've been buying. For instance, if I, it helps me to see that, hey, I've been eating out too much, or hey, you spent a lot on vacations last month. So I purposely don't set my credit card to auto pay because I wanna force myself to go into my account and see what I'm spending money on. But again, key point number one, make sure that you are making your payments regularly. Point number two when it comes to credit cards, try to negotiate a lower APR. So let's say you've had a card for two years, you've never missed a payment, you've never had a late payment. What you wanna do is just give them a quick call, say, hey, I've been a real loyal customer, can you help me out with this APR? I think it's a bit too high. Most likely they're gonna try and lower it for a year percent or two. If not, that's okay, even if they say no, wait a day or two, call back and say, hey, I'm looking at other credit cards. I'm trying to get my debt paid down a bit quicker and I'm looking at other cards that have 0% APR. Is there anything you can do? And they might actually put you into a program where the next 12 months you have 0% interest or they might lower your interest rate for you. I actually just had my Dis Discover card give me a whole 12 months of 0% interest and I'm sitting over here like, ooh, is there anything I need to buy since now I have 0% interest for the next 11 months now. So they're going to help you out. They don't want to lose you as a customer. So the second point again would be try to negotiate a lower APR, which is essentially getting them to lower the interest if you are carrying a balance month to month. A quick point I want to make before we get to rule number three about using credit cards is that you don't want to miss a payment. If you miss a payment, then you're going to get hit with a late fee, and it's usually about $35. So above all else, again, make sure you are making your payments on time and that you do not miss one. If you've been a good customer and you have missed one, this accidentally happened to me once or twice actually, call them and say, hey, I noticed there's an extra fee on my card. Can you tell me what that is? They're gonna say, hey, you missed a credit card payment, um, but since you've been a good customer, we're gonna waive that for you this time. They usually will get rid of that late fee if you are consistently making your payments on time. So if you do get hit with one, just give them a call. Now on to point number three, try to keep your credit cards for as long as possible. I know it's really enticing when you see 0% for 18 months or you see 
50,000 bonus flight miles or you go to Target and it says get a card now and you get 5% off. They are great when it comes to marketing and they bait you in to get these cards so that you can save some quick cash on your purchases. That's fine if you want to do that. That's perfectly okay. But if you do that, try to keep your cards open for as long as possible. The longer you keep your cards open, the better your credit history looks. Also, the longer you keep them open, they will raise the amount of credit you can have, which helps with your credit utilization ratio, which is a whole other thing that lenders like to look at. But either way, it's super, super critical that as you open cards, you keep them open. I don't care if you put them in the drawer. That's what I do. I put them in a drawer once they are at zero dollars and I don't owe any payments and I let them sit there. And over time, my credit history looks better and better and better. Point number four when it comes to using credit cards, use the rewards. You've got rewards from things like cash back, things like points for flying, flight mileage. So there's a plethora of things you can choose from when it comes to the rewards. So use them, don't let them just sit there. Discover, for example, Discover has 5% cash back on certain items every three months. That might be restaurants, it might be Amazon. Make sure to activate it and use those rewards. So make sure that when it comes to the rewards, you know what they are, you know how to use them. And use them, don't let them go to waste because credit cards are actually super useful. Debit cards don't have rewards like this. So use your credit card rewards, that's why they're there. So point number five, when it comes to credit card use, this should only be used if you are in a bind and I have used this strategy. So it's called balance transfers. A balance transfer means you are transferring the balance from one card to another card. And the way this strategy works the best is if you have a lot of credit card debt. So let's say you have $10,000 in credit card debt on one card and that card has an interest rate because you've had it for a while. But the interest rate's killing you and you want the debt gone. Now you have a new card that you can sign up and have a 0% APR for 18 months, which means 18 months you don't have to pay a dime of interest. That means you could just pay down the principal $10,000, right? What you would do is sign up for the new card and do a balance transfer of the $10,000 from your old card with interest to the new card that has zero interest. And that's called a balance transfer. So that allows you to pay down the debt as fast as you can. So that's an, a strategy you should only use if you are in an emergency. There's no need to do it if you don't have a large amount on your credit cards. So that is the fifth and final strategy when it comes to using a credit card. Now at the end of the day, take all of these strategies and use them to the best of your ability, depending on your situation. Once you do have your credit card under control, then you can increase your credit limit. You can utilize the rewards in a better manner because you're not worried about paying the debt down. You probably don't have to worry about the balance transfers at that point. You can then get your APR lowered and you'll be paying it off regularly, which is the most important piece. So at the end of the day, these are five strategies for using your credit cards, but make sure you're smart with your spending and I'll be talking to you soon. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook to stay updated on the latest, but more importantly, to stay updated on YouTube, press the subscribe button below.